Welcome back, everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mint an NFT on the Cardano blockchain, a easy step-by-step -step guide on how to go through the process from start to finish. And I'm gonna even show you some really cool websites to help you along the process. So if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone. So getting right into it, we are taking a look here at the website I've got pulled up, nft-maker.io. As far as this website, it is a really user-friendly way to be able to create an NFT on the Cardano blockchain. So we're going to talk about here in this video, we'll go through the process step by step. What we're looking at here on the home page, we can see all of the NFTs that have recently been created using this platform. I'm gonna show you another website in this video today that'll allow you to also see the NFT that you've created in your wallet. Uh, but it's nice that the platform does also show you these NFTs as well that have been created using the platform. Now, the process to mint your NFT is a very straightforward process. It's a three-step process. One thing I would recommend before you start with this, you would wanna make sure that you have your Daedalus or your Roy wallet ready to go. You will have to send some ADA in order to be able to mint your NFT. So let's go ahead and click on the option at the top, mint NFT. Once we click this button, it is asking us to upload an image. So as far as the supported file types, you could do either a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG. Uh, in this instance, today I've got my image prepared. I'm just gonna go with a standard PNG image. So I'm gonna select file. We can see Kaizen NFTs are my fave. I've got my NFT ready to go. Kaizen NFTs are my fave. So let's go ahead and open that. And we can see that the NFT is gonna look just like this. So once we've selected our file, we can go ahead and click on next. And next is gonna allow us to add some metadata. So this metadata is where you can get really creative with it. I'm gonna go through the process of filling out this information. Uh, essentially, we're gonna go through and look for a title, an author, a description, a web link, an Rweave ID. Some of these fields are optional, but we're gonna go through the process here and just go ahead and enter in some metadata. So I went ahead and entered in some metadata for our NFT. We can see I just entered in the title, Kaizen NFTs are my fave. Kind of want to put an exclamation mark after that. That's better. And we've got the author, Kaizen Crypto. Description is totally optional. I didn't really feel like I wanted to add a description. You can just enjoy the artwork. I feel like that's going to be really cool with this specific NFT. Uh, then we've got a web link, also optional. I've just got kaizencrypto.com linked and the uh, Rweave ID also optional. In this case, the image is going to be loaded up to IPFS. IPFS is essentially a decentralized file sharing network. Uh, if you think about something like Google Drive, except uh, decentralized, and in this case, it's being used to store these images. Uh, so that's where the images are going to be stored, IPFS, and then NSFW, not safe for work. So that would be, for instance, if there was something illicit or explicit that you felt you wouldn't want to necessarily expose to the general audience. That is what NSFW is going to be for. But in this case, nothing derogatory in this image. So after everything looks good, we can go ahead and click on next. Now, the next step is gonna be for us to send ADA to this payment address. So as far as the process to do this, what we would need to do is either scan this QR code or you can just go ahead and copy this address to the clipboard. And then once we've copied that to the clipboard, we'll need to send this ADA amount to this address. So let's go ahead and head over to Daedalus. So I've got Daedalus pulled up and I've got enough ADA in my tokens wallet to be able to send to the wallet address we saw on NFT Maker. I'm gonna go ahead and click on send and paste in that wallet address. After we've pasted in the wallet address, we can see it gives us the option now to enter in the amount of ADA. So let's go ahead and head back to NFT Maker. We can just verify this amount in ADA. We wanna make sure that this is the exact amount that we are sending. So I'm gonna make sure I do this correctly. I'm gonna highlight it and then copy it. Let's go back to Daedalus and we'll just go ahead and paste that in 3.647684. Let's go ahead and Make sure everything is correct. We'll just go back to the NFT Maker website, 3.647684, and this is the correct wallet address. So everything looks good there from our Daedalus wallet, making sure that everything is correct is how it should be according to the NFT Maker website. Now we can go ahead and click on send.
This next step is going to ask us to confirm the transaction by typing in our spending password. After you've typed in your spending password, we'll go ahead and click on send. And we can see now that the transaction is pending. So we're just going to wait for this. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, uh, but essentially that's the entire process for Daedalus. Now what we'll see is that the NFT is going to pop up in our wallet, which we use to send the ADA to NFT Maker uh, once the token gets minted. So let's go ahead and head back to NFT Maker. Uh, this might take a second to verify that the payment has been confirmed, that the NFT has been minted, but uh, let's just give this a second. It could take a couple minutes. So it took a couple minutes, but now we can see that the NFT maker shows that payment is confirmed and that the NFT has been minted and the transaction has been submitted to the blockchain. So we can go ahead and click on done and we have successfully completed the entire process to mint our own NFT. So very cool, excited about that. So Kaizen NFTs are my fave by Kaizen Crypto. And we can see this nice little compilation. These are some NFTs that I own in my collection. Uh, you wanna make sure that whatever images that you're using, you do have the correct rights associated with those images. In this case, I own all of these NFTs, so nothing to worry about there. But very cool guys, that is the entire process. What we can do now is go ahead and take a look at some websites that'll allow us to actually see this NFT in our wallet. So let's go ahead and head back to the Daedalus wallet and we'll see that the token has been received in our wallet. So this transaction that just popped up is to ADA, but we wanna be able to see this really cool image. So the best way to do that is to copy your receiving address for the wallet, which contains the NFT. And we're gonna go ahead and head over to a website called pool.pm. So I've got that pulled up. What we'll need to do is use the search function to enter in our public address. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in our public address for the wallet. We can see here, this shows us some cool information related to our wallet and it shows us our NFT. We can go ahead and click on that. This is awesome, yep. So it shows us the Kaizen NFTs are my fave. It shows us the author Kaizen Crypto. Really cool. So guys, any information related to your NFT is gonna be found here. Uh, so this is a great way to be able to view the information related to that specific NFT. So hopefully you guys do find some value from this. I definitely would love to hear from you if you're able to use this guide to mint your own Cardano NFTs. Let me know how it goes for you. As far as making the NFT maker platform the best it possibly can be, the developer behind the project, Patrick Toblar, as well as his co-founders have submitted a proposal for Project Catalyst. So this is gonna be taking place in the next funding round. Catalyst Fund 5 is underway. We can see their NFT maker Catalyst proposal. This is the Cardano.ideascale website. We can see their Catalyst proposal in more detail. This gives us a lot of information related to their relevant experience and what their goals are to build out the NFT maker platform. So I'd recommend that you guys check this out. This is gonna be on cardano.ideascale.com. I will be sure to leave a link for you all. And if you do want to support Patrick and his team to help build out NFT maker, go ahead and give them some kudos and be sure to vote for them for Project Catalyst Fund 5. All right, everyone. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and hopefully you're able to use this content to mint your own NFTs on the Cardano blockchain. If you do end up trying the NFT maker, let me know down in the comments section. I would love to hear from you all. All right, everyone. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do appreciate you watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.